has a lot of stuff. <laughs> Zucchini for sure. Mm -hmm. Carrots I can see. Yep. And some kind of pesto sauce. Pesto sauce. Is it? Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's so, make sure it's really good. <laughs> he liked it. <laughs> Today I'm making a very tasty dish, zucchini roll-ups. It's perfect for appetizer starter if you have lots of guests coming over or perfect for a snack during your favorite movie. So besides that zucchini as a vegetable is really tasty, it's very good for you. It is very rich on vitamin A, vitamin C and beta-carotene, all of these combined improve your vision and are really good for your eyes. In addition, zucchini has magnesium and vitamin K. So both of these are very good for your bone health. I'm hoping you're taking advantage of this vegetable. Uh, it is also a good uh, source of fiber, so it's great for digestion. And if you have a thyroid imbalance, the zucchini peel is known to balance your thyroid hormones. So I'm very excited to share this recipe with you and uh, let's start with the ingredients. You can find a list of the ingredients in the description box below. We will begin by slicing the zucchini and you can use a vegetable peeler to slice them but I find the vegetable peeler to slice them too thin. You can also use a mandolin slicer to slice the zucchini and I will add a link in the description below for your convenience and you may have one in your kitchen but if you don't I'll show you how to slice the zucchini simply using a knife. You can start by peeling off one layer of the zucchini peel and then simply start slicing the zucchini with the knife. If you like your slices to be even, then you will probably need to use the mandolin slicer. And you can see how thick we want the slices to be. And they're not exactly even when you slice them with a knife. But because we are going to grill the zucchini for the roll-ups, I think that should be just fine. So continue slicing them until you go through all of the zucchini and get them ready for the grill. Before we grill the zucchini, we will add some seasoning. I have about quarter cup of avocado oil to which I added a little bit of salt, about one tablespoon, and half a tablespoon of black pepper. You can mix it in really well, and then apply the seasoning to the zucchini generously. We want to season both sides, so we'll flip the zucchini slices over and then apply some of the seasoning generously on the other side as well. Once you have all of the zucchini seasoned, they're ready for the grill. And for this recipe I'm using cast iron grill. You can uh, heat it really well and then place the zucchini slices on the grill. We want to cook them about a minute and a half on each side until they have that nice grill marks on the zucchini. And by the way, you can also place the zucchini slices on a regular grill. This way you can cook them probably faster. And after a minute and a half, you can flip them over and grill them on the other side as well. We're looking for nice grill marks on the zucchini and we want to cook them only a minute and a half because we want the zucchini to be slightly soft but still crunchy so they don't fall apart when we roll them later on. Once the zucchini slices are grilled, we also want to slice the two radishes 
We will be using the radishes for the filling of the zucchini. In addition to the radishes, as a filling, we'll also use shredded carrot. So go ahead and peel and shred the carrot. And our third ingredient for the roll-ups filling is basil and dill pesto sauce. We'll make the sauce in a food processor, so go ahead and add two cups of the fresh basil leaves into the food processor and followed by the fresh dill. The dill will give such a nice flavor to this pesto sauce. And then add about a cup of raw cashews. Cashews will give that earthy flavor and also the thickness of the sauce. Add some fresh garlic, I'm using four garlic cloves and about one tablespoon of salt followed by half a teaspoon of black pepper and then squeeze fresh lemon juice. This will give that freshness of the taste of our pesto sauce. We want our sauce to be thick because we are using it as a filling for the zucchini roll-ups. We're only adding the juice of one lemon and tiny bit of avocado oil or extra virgin olive oil. Just add about one to two tablespoons to begin with and then later on we will add some more of the olive oil or avocado oil, whichever one you choose. Once all of the ingredients are in, you can close the food processor and start pulsing until all of the ingredients are roughly mixed in. Then you can open up the food processor and add a little more of the avocado or olive oil, about 3-4 tablespoons additional oil. Close it again and start pulsing again until the ingredients are mixed really well. You will have to pause several times throughout the process and mix the ingredients well. If you have a powerful food processor, the process will be easier and faster. But with the food processor that I am using, I needed to stop three times and mix the ingredients well until I get to a smooth consistency and you can see the thick consistency of the sauce and the slight chunkiness left from the raw cashews. This is the consistency we're looking for. And you can go ahead and transfer it to a container so we can use it later on on the zucchini rolls. And once the sauce is ready, we have all of our ingredients for the roll-up. Grilled zucchini slices, basil dill pesto sauce, shredded carrots, sliced radishes, and the toothpicks. We'll first apply the basil and dill pesto sauce on each zucchini slice. You can apply the sauce generously because that's most of the filling we're adding to the roll-ups. And once you have the layer of the pesto sauce, add some of the shredded carrots in the beginning of the roll. And then also add a little bit, a few of the radishes and start rolling the zucchini until your roll-up is finished. You can see how beautiful the zucchini rolls look like. The combination of colors between the pesto sauce, the carrots and the radishes is perfect for a party platter. So I highly recommend this recipe for an appetizer party platter for your favorite party. These are great for birthday parties and baby showers. And by the way, they're so colorful and so tasty that they go really fast. Your guests will love it and they will definitely ask you for the recipe. The combination of fresh basil, fresh dill and raw cashews gives such a nice addition to the zucchini taste and the touch of carrots and radishes will give that sweetness and spiciness of the taste. So 
I love this combination and I highly recommend this colorful and tasty dish for your favorite party. I hope you have a chance to make them and impress your favorite guests at your party. Bikini roll-ups, all right. I'm so lucky, just so you know, that I get to try these rep recipes firsthand. So. Yeah. Thank you. So you ready? Yeah. Grab one. With a toothpick. Yeah. So it's zucchini rolled as um, coconut. What else? Carrots? Nope. <laughs> it's in the recipe? Well, I'll, yeah. I'll taste it and tell taste you. Taste it and let me know how it is. Mmm. It has a lot of stuff. <laughs> Zucchini for sure. Mm -hmm. Carrots I can see. Yeah. And some kind of pesto sauce. Pesto sauce. Is it? Mm -hmm. Alright. But it's a little bit different than traditional pesto mm -hmm. because it has basil mm -hmm. as traditional pesto does and then it has uh, fresh dill. Well. Oh, amazing, amazing. So good. Yeah. Just so, make sure it's really good. <laughs> he liked it. <laughs> so I hope, I hope you guys give it a try. This is a wonderful recipe for your next party. Let me know how you like it. Thank you guys for tuning in with me this week. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe as much as I did. And I hope you make it for your friends and family for the next beautiful party of yours. If you like this recipe, I really hope you leave a comment below and check out the description box below as well because I'm adding some links that you might find helpful. And if you're new to my channel, remember to subscribe and click on the like button so this helps me reach more people and makes the video more popular so more people can see it and enjoy this beautiful recipe. I'll see you next time. Have a great day.